Well, today we're going to swim with dolphins, not me, uh, my kids. Uh, I've gotten special permission where they don't allow you to take pictures um, or video, but I've gotten special permission to do so today to put it on YouTube. So this will be very special. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. This is the uh, Swimming with Dolphin and Marine Research Center out here near Hocotepec, Mexico. And it's called, if you want to Google it, Recinto Maya K. Here's a picture of their brochure with their contact information if you want to go and swim with dolphins yourself. Looks like they also rent space for special events. Our first look at a dolphin. Hopefully they got some real ones. Porfio, ¿cómo está? Bien, ¿está? <laughs> Listo hoy? Listo, preparado. Okay. So you guys are going to swim with dolphins, huh? Have you seen one? Oh, there's one there. There's two over there and one there. Jerry, are you taking a video? I am. Jerry, do I want to have this sign? Oh, this sign here that says, please... Don't take any photos or videos? Yeah. I have talked to them and gotten special permission. Okay? But thank you for the warning. <laughs> this is Mauricio. Hola. What do you do here besides uh, play with dolphins? Um, we work here because uh, we want to let the people know that this place is a place for uh, how do you say this is a un recinto, a place for uh, making this, our species, mm -hmm. treat them well, uh, preserve the species, especially the ones that are in danger. Uh -huh. We are talking about the Guacamaya Verde militaris, Ara militaris, mm -hmm. and the dolphins. The dolphins are uh, not an endangered species, but uh, we kept them here. Uh, mm -hmm. we, yeah, we, we, so you want, professional care. you want to educate people to treat yes. them well uh, and to respect houses. them. That's right. Yes. But also the nature, uh -huh. whatever is around us. I mean, we have biodiversity mm -hmm. here, in, especially in the Rivera Chapala. Uh -huh. um, yes, more, mostly that. It's a good mission, Mauricio. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for coming here and watch it and watch with, with your own eyes what we have here and how we have our animals here because a lot of people say that this is illegal and something like that but it's important to not be prejudiced about it and come and see with your own eyes and ask the professionals not asking wrong people about the right information right what's going on up there it's macaws they're jealous of that one what oh there's one over there i think oh i think they're getting ready Oh my gosh. So this is we a... have our parrot. This is Lorenzo. It's called how old is he? Lorenzo. Thirty seven years old. Thirty seven years old. They oh. can live up to sixty years or more. Mm -hmm. So this is our uh, Ara Militaris. This is our green uh, parrot. This is uh, this is a, a an endangered species because uh, the forest and jungle in Mexico, well, they are uh, uh, how do you say threatened. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we have our collection of uh, Guacamaya Verde and as the ¿qué otra cosa que podemos decir? Ara Militaris. In Spanish, it's Guacamaya. Guacamaya? Not guacamole? No. Guacamaya. No, no, no. <laughs> <Not> close. <laughs> guacamaya verde. Almost like that, but you change a little bit the words. Okay. Okay, we're going to uh, make you a photo with, with the yeah. parrot. Ah.
Try them to keep them here safe and all, the, uh, feed them well, mm -hmm. because if they want to, they could just fly away. I mean, it happens. But sometimes they just fly a little bit and they come back because so they can then, get lost and they can be taken. So they're not caged here. No, uh, we keep them in a for in the night. We keep them in a how do you say in a in a cage. Mm -hmm. But at day we. Put them in our aviaries, mm -hmm. say, aviaries. Yeah. yeah. Because at night we keep them safe from the, the predators because we have here uh, mammals, little mammals. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know them, flacuaches, uh, lizards, little lizards, mm -hmm. uh, iguanas, cosas así. They eat their eggs and um, so in the, by night we keep them in another place, right? We have this here for there's Oh, here comes he knows we're about to make a session, so uh -huh. he comes in here. He's, does he like to do this? Yes, sometimes. It's a, it's I mean, a, all of it's, it's a it, enjoyable activity for him as well. You can notice it yeah. because of how he behaves. Sometimes mm -hmm. when the dolphins, they don't want to do it. They just don't do it. We cannot force them if they don't want to do it. So if they feel uh, well fed, if they are, uh, their state of mind, how do you say this? Su estado de ánimo, cuando su estado de ánimo está bien, they're going to do the normal thing to be social with uh -huh. people because they are, how do you say, accustomed. They are... They're used to it. They used, they used to it a lot yeah. from all their lives because they are... Uh, all their life they have been treated by specialists. Mm -hmm. They don't know how is the external world, the sea world, I don't know how to say, the ocean life. They've never been, they never been. Uh, free. That's correct. Yeah. So a lot of people say, why don't, why I don't just put them in a truck and go to the ocean and just let them free? Because they would not be happy. Also, they wouldn't be able to survive. Yeah. They wouldn't be able to socialize with other right. animals from their species. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a big risk of death for them. And uh, the most important thing is that also the government doesn't make responsible for anything. So they are uh, made for uh, be with uh, professionals, right. private professionals. I don't know. Uh, Empresas mm. que se dedican a esto, especialmente In, a estos delfines. Yeah. Porque mucha gente dice, it's, it's very easy to think, just let them free, but it's not that simple. It's not impossible. It's very important to know. In a lot of places around the world, they have done that before, but with a risk. With, yeah. There is no guarantee that uh, we weren't, we're going to let them free and we want to see them go, but who is going to be responsible for them, for them survival? We are responsible right now, so that's why we have them. Here. Well, we've taught them to be dependent upon us. That's and correct. to be dependent upon solely themselves could be a risk. That's correct. So yeah. that, that information a lot of people doesn't know. <laughs> there he goes. As you're looking at these pictures, I'd like to express my feelings about Cetacea, dolphins and whales in captivity. I know there's a lot of controversy about that and I have some strong feelings about it myself. 
In this particular case, this facility is not going out in the, uh, into the ocean and capturing dolphins, nor out into the forest and capturing macaws. This is kind of a sanctuary facility for animals that have already found themselves in captivity. The macaws are free to leave, and they're not caged. They're caged at night for their protection, but in the daytime, they can fly away. The dolphins, releasing them into the wild, would be cruel. They're social animals. They may not know how to socialize with other dolphins, or other dolphins might not accept them. They've grown up socializing with humans. They know how to do tricks for food. They might not know how to chase fish for food in the ocean. Who knows? If they're pretty smart, they might figure it out. But I look upon animals in this situation like if you had a dog and some animal activist says you should take it out and dump it in the forest so that it can be free. Would you do that to your dog? I don't think so. These animals, they know how to do what they do where they are. Dumping them off in the forest of the ocean would be cruel. That's my feelings. I know I'm going to get comments about this. I probably won't respond to them. But tell me how you feel about what to do with animals that are already in captivity. Here he comes. Woo! <laughs> I'm drifting! <laughs> <laughs> think of here was how fast dolphins could train humans. Amazing. Yeah, hey, good job humans. Round of applause. Hey, bye. 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 Es delfín para hasta luego. A California seal. Sea lion. No, this is a <laughs> seal. A sea lion ah. weighs many is much, much bigger. The sea lions like Pier 39 in San Francisco. This picture is from Pier 39 in San Francisco. The darker one is wet. The lighter brown ones are dry. They're huge. The sea lion has ears. Yeah? The seal doesn't have ears. Here I'm, pump, ears. I'm arguing with the guy who knows what he's talking about. I'm in <laughs> trouble. <laughs> The seal makes this movement. Right, okay. That's another difference. So Mauricio tricked me. <laughs> it's a baby sea lion. <laughs> a female. A female baby sea lion. Okay, so there I am talking through my hat, we say in English. <laughs> Thank you for your time today, Mauricio. Thank you for your visit. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We had a good day. You know, the first video I ever made eight years ago and five million views ago, I sat in this same chair here in front of my casita and promised that I would tell you how I got to be a rodeo clown. <laughs> I didn't get very many views and nobody ever asked. I'll dig out the link to that and we'll watch it together and have a good laugh. My next video is going to be the Guadalajara Zoo. Uh, we did everything you can do at the zoo. The gondolas that go over the zoo, the safari ride, the aquarium. The stars of the show will be the animals, but we'll have a good time. I'll see you soon. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind.